Italy against Serbia. I'm John Champion and providing analysis alongside me is our expert Jim Beckley. Yeah, thanks John. What a brilliant atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. I mean, both sets of players must be really looking forward to this, as we are. It's Lorenzo Insigne. Pumps it long. Pirlo. Admittedly, it's early, but this game hasn't exactly sparked into life yet. Great footwork. Great link up. Italy have scored. about that <laughs> Italy sitting comfortably at this stage leading by one well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. He hits it. He scores. And that completes the comeback. Find some words to do justice to that goal. Look, you can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough, and in that instance, it was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. So, we resume with the scores back level. Oh, look, I love watching games like this when both teams are given everything they've got to try and win it. This is all the makings of a cracker. Last cut out. Lorenzo Insigne. Marquisio. Thiago Motta. Pirlo. Abate. Marquisio. Chiellini. Pirlo, Abate, Marquisio, Chiellini, on his own, he gets his shot away, he's not taking any risks there. Whistle goes to signal the midway point of this game. It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers will be looking for that extra bit of organisation and focus now, just to try and get a little control on this game. So, nothing to separate the two teams, it stands at one apiece. The second half gets underway. Long ball forward. Going on, possibility here. He went all the way there, great effort. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away, and I suppose at least he showed the best option, just didn't come off. Poor distribution from the keeper, that's a gift. Maybe now. That could have been really special. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. So, how will they work this one? They've got it away.
Fascia. And he'll shoot here. Look, he's not going to need an invitation to smash one from that sort of range. And I just think it's risky business for a team to just sit there and watch him pull the trigger like that. A good fly in the top corner. Marquisio trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Ivanovic. Balotelli. That's clever from him. Matic wins the battle and emerges with the ball. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special is going to be needed. Marquisio. This is starting to turn into a bit of a scrap. Lorenzo in senior. Lijic gives away a free kick. That was always likely to be the outcome. Yellow card. And that's the first yellow card the referee has shown. It's Balotelli, trying to keep it in the face of strong opposition pressure. The time is running out, they need to get the ball upfield. Played in accurately, a shot! No getting it through there, he knew what was coming. Forward it goes. Nicely fed in, right idea, wrong execution. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after the put clean through. That's about as good a chance as he can get. He was close to adding to his tally there. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he could make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. There's the final whistle. It ends in a draw here, and other than the lack of a winning goal, the match itself, a terrific one for the neutrals, plenty of passion and of excitement. I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that, there was so much passion and commitment out there, I can't remember anyone shirking a tackle.